Hey, what's going on guys? Brandon here with Texas Plinking. I don't think I need much of an intro. You guys saw the title, you guys saw the thumbnail. We're gonna be shooting some stuff with the Desert Eagle. We only featured it a few times on the channel, but ta-da. Uh, always fun to bring it back out. So, you know, as the title suggests, we will be shooting a bowling ball. Um, I've shot two on the channel so far, but both of them have been with the Barrett M82. One with the Ralphus Incendiary round, one with the Full Metal Jacket. I don't know why I haven't considered shooting the last two bowling balls I have with the 50 cal pistol. So this video is dedicated to the Desert Eagle in 50 AE. Uh, not the next video, but possibly the video after that, the 500 Magnum. You guys can guess that's probably going to be coming pretty soon as well. But this video, like I said, it's about the uh, Desert Eagle from Magnum Research. Uh, and we're going to be shooting some Hornady 300 grain XTP rounds. So hollow point expanding 300 grain 50 AE. Be curious to see what it does on the bowling ball. However, if we just shoot the bowling ball, this video would be about 30 seconds. It would be done. So we got an array of fruit um, as always to shoot. So nothing terribly new. We got some watermelon, personal watermelon, some uh, cantaloupe, some pineapple. We also got a coconut. So let's see what the heck that's all about. Um, but yeah, we've got a table set up down range. I've got my GoPro Hero 7 down there kind of close to the target, so try not to hit that. But I got that thing down there shooting at 240 frames per second. I know you guys always say I need a slow motion camera, but I don't have like $40,000 laying around. So we're gonna use the GoPro 240, better than nothing. And then this one right here, just for the HD stuff back here. Um, like I said, I don't really know what to say as far as the intro, so let's go ahead and just get to it. So I've already got a cantaloupe set up down there. So I say we go ahead and just cover up the GoPro. All right, so we're at 1080, 240. We can do that. Won't totally need this just for now, probably more so in the bowling ball, that, that should hopefully protect it. Last time I shot something with the 50 cal was the Barrett and it chipped my uh, screen on the GoPro, so hopefully that'll save it. All right, cantaloupe, y'all seen this before. Oh, thank goodness I put the acrylic cover on the uh, GoPro. <laughs> All right, thankfully we have a towel uh, in the truck, but, and good as new. I'm gonna go ahead and try for a coconut. Make sure that's all good. Curious to see what that looks like. All right, let's give it a go. And just in case you guys haven't seen a 50 AE video, figured I'd show the, uh, the tip of that thing, the 300 XTP, it's kind of nasty. All right, see what it does to a coconut. Just split it right down the middle, I think. Tasty. Alrighty. That should be an easy one to hit. Alright. Go for the pineapple. Well, I think we just nicked the bottom of it. Might have to go again. Took a huge chunk out of it. I say we hit the uh, other side. Good enough. Made a hop a little bit. Whew. Nicked the bottom there. Look at that, just right down the middle. Very nice. All right, these are usually pretty fun with the 50s. A little personal watermelon here. Disintegrated. Oh, I love it. All right, now that the table's having a good first day on the job. <laughs> just got this table, y'all. Holding up pretty good, I think. Um, let's try to clean off my... I hope this is working out okay. It might be looking like garbage, but... I like that watermelon so much, we're going to shoot another one. We got four totals, so we got to save the other two for the 500 Magnum. So look out for that video, like I said. This is going to be the last target until the bowling ball. So uh, maybe we'll plink around at the very end. But that should do. Yeah, watermelon is always pretty fun with an expanding 50 round. BMG, AE, Smith & Wesson, you name it. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, like I said, last one to the bowling ball. I'm gonna try to do it in style, do it from back here. I'm not too good with this thing. Um, so we'll see what happens. All right, let's try it. 
Not as dramatic as the other one. I think we kind of hit the side, but Jesus, look at that thing. All right, guys, so up next is the bowling ball. Uh, before we get to that, I just want to give a big thanks to Trigger Fanatics. They reached out to me on Instagram, told me about their one-step solution, uh, cleaning and gun oil and kind of a protectant for your firearms. And I said, sure, send it over and I'll see what I think about it. Used it a couple times to shoot some of the BCA rifles I was shooting. And uh, I'm really, really pleased with it. So instead of having your solvents, then your, you know, dry it up and clean it, then your lubricants and your anti-rust and stuff like that, this is literally your one-step solution. So you literally can clean off a bunch of carbon corrosion and all that kind of stuff. Uh, clean your barrels with it, lubricate it. It prevents rust and it's hydrophobic. So none of that water or anything sticks on it, which again, prevents rust. The titanium uh, gold finish on this, you could do black, even like wood or whatever else. It's literally the one-step solution. So really cool bottle. I'll put a link in the description to where you guys can pick some up yourself. But again, thanks to Trigger for Nox to send that for sending that out to me. Uh, but without any further ado, I got one more round loaded up in here and we're gonna see what that could do to a bowling ball. So hopefully my GoPro survives. Let's go ahead and set it up. Is that in frame? Sure is. That should prevent any chips to the GoPro itself. In theory, anyway. All right, let's do it. All right, guys. Um, yeah, the GoPro is a little close to the bowling ball, but I think that little acrylic is going to save it. But nonetheless, doing this for y'all. All right, let's get it. Oh, boy. Let's try it again. All right, take one. Eh, that wasn't terribly dramatic. Let's see what happened. Like that. It's just all soft. I don't think it went through. No, it did not. Interesting. It's like really, really soft right here though, and like pliable. Yeah, I'll be honest, I was expecting a little bit more of a reaction, more pieces. So I don't know if I hit it dead center. I thought I did. Let's go ahead and try again anyway. Uh, it's resting on the divot in the crater that we created. So let's see if maybe the second shot won't really send it off into pieces. What in the world happened there? So just kind of hit it right around the same spot. We're revealing like a little metal core in there. Interesting. Yeah, let's do it again. All right. Interesting. Look at that. I don't know if this is the exit or the entry. It looks like that's the exit. So it kind of just came over top and warped it, interestingly. Huh. Bowling balls are pretty tough. So when I did hit it dead center on the, one of the first ones, we know that a hollow point 50 AE will not go through a bowling ball. So when you're in the alley during competition, someone gets frustrated, uh, like in the Great Lebowski or whatever, he only had a 1911, but they had a 50 AE, just hold that bowling ball and it should stop you uh, from dying theoretically. So yeah, pretty tough. Well guys, I think that's just about gonna do it. Um, like I said, I've probably only shown the Desert Eagle, what was it, three times now, this being the third. Um, but yeah, was, I've been kind of curious what it'll do to a bowling ball, but of course it's kind of fun to work our way up there and shoot some fruit, because the reaction's always pretty fun. But yeah, in short, there we go. Shot this bowling ball, what, three, four times or so? And uh, turns out they're pretty darn tough. So if you guys are curious, what would happen, we'd try that with a 300 and 350 grain uh, from a Smith & Wesson 500 Magnum. That'll be coming up, like I said, not the next video, but the one after. So stay tuned for that uh, pretty darn soon here. But again, a big thanks to Trigger Fanatics uh, for sponsoring this video. But yeah, that'll just about do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.